Retrieval augmented generation versus fine tuning. Which approach is right for you? Both of them are great methods to specialize a large language model for your specific needs, but they work differently and have different advantages, which is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Retrieval augmented generation doesn't actually alter the model itself, but it actually alters the prompt. When a user makes a prompt to a large language model, retrieval augmented generation will use an external API or a database search to find relevant context and augment that prompt to the large language model. This means that the model will have all of the relevant information it needs to answer that question. This works great, especially when you have data that changes over time, like dynamic company promotions and policies, or user-specific data, like for example, a user's personal account details. However, when it comes to more nuanced aspects of the model's output, you wanna opt for fine tuning, and I'll explain why. Fine tuning actually does alter the model. We are retraining the model on our provided small and specialized data set. This actually alters the model's internal parameters to affect how its outputs look. This is great for customizing the style, tone, and format of the model. It can also be used to teach the model new information. However, this should be avoided in the case of changing data that is dynamic over time or data that is specific to a particular customer because fine tuning is a expensive and time consuming process. The best approach is often a hybrid one where we use fine tuning for the tone and style of large language models outputs and retrieval augmented generation for the context. This has provided you with the information to make the best decision for your needs. Like and subscribe for more content like this and comment down below what you want to learn about next.